Hey, hi, good morning, it's Jim. Um, and today I'm coming at you with uh, everyone's favourite over-the-top operatic theatrical metal outfit, Nightwish. And this was a hugely, hugely important band uh, for the channel, for me and for you guys um, last year. And uh, I don't know what happened. I think it probably got to the summer or the autumn last year. And um, I didn't actively decide not to keep listening to them. I don't think that happened, but other stuff came along and it kind of just got sidelined. So um, I haven't actually listened to any Nightwish outside of the channel. Uh, so the four or five songs that I've done are the only Nightwish songs I've listened to. And, you know, so from time to time, the sort of requests keep trickling in. Um, but at the time, as I say, a year ago, it was sort of almost every single request um for probably a month or so was for Nightwish and uh, actually quite recently Xenophon has just asked oh could you do the Poet and Pendulum I can't believe you haven't done that well yeah I kind of did I think that was the first one I did if you go back and look through my videos I'm sure that was either the first or the second one that I did it's a long 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 time ago but it's there unless uh, YouTube's deleted it in which case I don't know where it's gone but uh, it's not down to me um, it's there definitely however this is not this is um, a Pink Floyd cover um, High Hopes, which has been done live. Um, it's been asked for by a few people. So I'll just quickly go through the names of those who have asked for this. Uh, Richard Hall, uh, Reich Constanz, uh, Chris Hinton, backed up by Matej Empu Pohanku. I don't think that's how you say your name. Uh, Pohanka, sorry. And Paul Wakefield. So uh, a handful, a smattering of people asking for this. Um but what interested me is that it is a Pink Floyd cover. Uh, I do like a bit of Pink Floyd, um, as you may well know. I think I know... Well, I don't I know. I, I do know. I've, I've listened to Pink Floyd for years. Um, pretty much, I can't remember the first time I listened to Pink Floyd. It's so long ago. So um, I ain't going to be doing no reaction to Pink Floyd, because I know it all, um, as indeed I should do. Who wouldn't? Um, but I don't know this, so I do, obviously I know High Hopes, but I don't know this Nightwish cover of it. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I shall just move the camera, so and get, there you go, and get the picture up here somewhere. Right, three, two, one. Good, instantly recognisable. We on the horizon of the I'm expecting David Gilmore. When we were young, in a world I'm glad they've still got uh, Captain Jack Sparrow on the keyboard. feel to it. Guitar tone. I've even got the uh, little uh, Pink Floyd round uh, projection screen on the back. I don't know if that's in honour of Pink Floyd or if that's their own thing.
Nice. The whole feel is much more intense, more metal. The drumming is more... The guitar is more... The Everything, everything is sort of bigger. I love that sort of... Also like a sort of a Roland D50 synth sound, that bell. It's a real 80s uh, synth sound. We're not going to get floor out, are we? Oh, this is so good. Is his little beard. He screams so loud, his beard. It's very funny. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What an entertaining, fun band they are. So... I so I love it, and it's a great way to do a do a cover. Not it, what? Why would you do a cover that's exactly the same? You've got to make it relevant and make it um, a part of what you are as a band and who you are, and uh, just give it your own flavour, which they certainly did. It was far. It was, uh, the tempo was pretty much. I think they may be a little bit faster, but it's it's not far off what the original was. Um, but the whole thing, the groove and the um, and the feel was much more metal and um the, the drumming was f- was far more involved sort of um 
Nick uh, Nick Mason's is very, obviously very very laid back and uh, very chilled out sort of drumming, but um, uh, that was not. And um, the guitar was the tone of the guitar, obviously was far more metal, and then everything about it was it was just bigger and bigger and sort of more over the top. Uh, Pink Floyd, although they are sort of hugely famous for their massively over the top shows and um, and epicness of their music, the music itself isn't over the top in some ways i mean it's it kind of is but it's it's um it, it, there is a lot of subtlety to it and i think there was there wasn't a lot of subtlety in this but it didn't matter it wasn't trying to trying to be subtle it was trying to be good um nightwish so <sighs> As a band, I don't think, well, maybe they are, I mean, I, for me, I, they don't do anything particularly innovative or new or anything like that. But what they do do is really, really, they do what they do really, really well. And um, it's, it's, it's crowd pleasing. It's what people want to hear. It is delivering, delivering stuff that people can sing along to. I mean, it's, it's proper stadium sing along music. Um, and it's great. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. And um, do we miss Floor from here? I don't know. I don't know what. She, I think she. I'm glad. I, I'm glad she wasn't singing this. To be honest, I mean, I I love her. I think she's brill. But this didn't need her. We had the the the, the wobbly beard singing bass player. That's not what his name is, but uh, it's good. And of course, I'm very, very, very glad we've still got Captain Jack Sparrow on the keyboards because otherwise it would not be Nightwish. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim over and.